Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? We're back again. Welcome to Big Gauchos, the stock investing show that's completely out of pocket to help put money in your pocket. Once again, I'm Austin, back with the boys. What up, guys? It's Big Gaucho Tyler. Let's get it. Hey, it's David. And um, I just realized that when I say it's Friday, it's Friday for me. But by the time it's uploaded, it's Saturday. <laughs> at least for, um, in America, it's Saturday. So it, was... it doesn't really make too much sense to say Friday. So I hope <laughs> everyone's having a great start to their weekend. I was I was thinking that in the shower the other day. It's one of those like life revelations that just hits you. I'm like, wait, it's not Friday <laughs> when they hear this. <laughs> so happy uh, Saturday. Happy Saturday. Yeah, yeah. We're, Saturday. we're starting it completely exhausted i know that but we're still gonna put on a great show for you guys always that's right wow 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 we got a huge milestone today Twenty-seven thousand on the dow jones money machine goes brrr. i can't I believe it to be honest i'm excited i love it it's awesome my portfolio is <laughs> positive for once so I'm up 80%. I'm yeah, I got to say, we're all doing really well. So it's not a detriment for any of us, but it is really hard to predict. Like, I'll give you an example. We were all calling the numbers of the Dow like we do every day. And, uh, you know, today I picked 26,000. Okay. And I was the highest because everyone else was picking it to go down further than I was. So technically I won, but you know, I was 1100 points off. <laughs> Look, uh, the Dow Jones has extended its uh, stay with the green days. It's been three weeks and it went up a thousand points today. So it's definitely no. time for some type of dip. Yeah. I want to issue a correction. I forgot to vote because I went to bed at like 8 PM. So I had to get up super early. So I forgot to vote, but if I were to vote, I would have voted for green and I would have won. Could have, would have, should have. <laughs> you would have, you would have get, you would have guessed, uh, 27,117, I think. No, but I would have voted green for sure. Yeah, that's fair. I probably, but, I probably would have oh, well. if you were in it. No, you still got Monday to catch up, but yeah, <laughs> that's, those games are so insane. I, Tyler and I were talking about this today while Dave was taking his MCAT. By the way, send Dave a, a good luck still as he awaits the results. <laughs> but we were talking today and we were like, maybe we should just start selling stuff off and buy the dip again. That's what I did. I sold my Avis budget group, my baby. Um, don't worry, guys. I will rebuy. So it's not gone for a long. But I had to cash out some gains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the theory is that since we've had a pretty, pretty steep rise in the Dow, um, I don't know, I'm just getting the past week, probably close to 3,000 points, which is insane. Um, it, it makes sense that there would be a correction. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be Monday, if it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, or if it'll even happen at all, but it makes sense that if you sell now and there is a correction, of course you can buy at the low point and then the difference between that, you can make some profit on. So, exactly. So you think it's going to be next week then? I mean, I don't know personally. I do. Um, I think for sure there will be some correction in the market. I'm not sure how far it will drop, though. Jeez. I mean, I'm looking for like a 500 to 600 point drop, and then I'm back in it. And also, like with the Dow going up 3,000 points, I think it is time for some investors to take some profits. You know, it's always good to have some cash in the pockets just in case anything does go south. And you can uh, use it to either reinvest or just take your profits and, you know, leave happy with um, some gains because, you know, we love we love gains. Mm, directly responsible for gains and directly. what tyler what tyler said you know it's that old saying the rat can't get greedy because that's exactly. how he gets killed with the cheese you know mm, yummy mm -hmm, yummy yummy 
Oh, yeah. Another so I haven't really had too much time to really think about it too much because I've been busy with other things. So I'm not too sure what I will do personally, but I'm, I'm tempting, definitely going to, so. yeah, that's, it's really tempting. I'm going to have to weigh the pros and cons all this weekend and see if I'm going to put in any orders for Monday, but most likely I'll probably just hold long term just because, you know, that's, that's kind of my idea behind starting the portfolio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah. And long term is always, the, it's always a safe bet. Well, well, Dave, funny you should mention that long term is a safe bet. Uh, Tyler and I just made some big gains in the short term with our next stock, Luck and Coffee. Yes, sir. Big, big a gains flex big for the camera. Major gains. That's right. So, Aussie, tell the, tell the viewers at home what we did with Luck and. So, what happened is, if you guys watched our episode a little over a week ago right now. It was a, a week ago from Wednesday. So uh, last Wednesday, if you were listening to that episode, Tyler and I said that we were going to basically YOLO it on luck in tomorrow. And we ended up buying some. I bought it at 218. Tyler, what did you buy in that? I bought it at 216, but I sold. And then I rebought at $3. Yeah, so Tyler sold, then he rebought at $3. I held on to it from 218 and I saw it riding up to $4. And I went online and I couldn't find any good explanation for why it was going up or any real reasoning. So I'm like, I'm like, wow, this is, this is definitely a fluke or like a really short squeeze on the stock. So I said, you know what? It was, it was up around $4 and 25 cents at the time. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to cut my losses. Cause that's, that's an 86% return. And for one week doing nothing, I mean, that's pretty good. So I cashed out. So, um, if you listen to us, you might have made 87% if you caught that dip. It's actually still going up, so I got yeah, a little up to, too early. Up to $6 right now, so if, especially if you held for an extra day, you definitely made major, major gains. That's right. Yeah. If, you, mm-hmm. if you invested, yeah, if you invested 200 you would have profited about $190. Yeah. yeah. And I'll admit, I was wrong about luck and coffee. Ah, let's go. <laughs> I didn't really look into it too much. I just kind of heard the um, the general news that there was some fraud going on with the earnings report. So I kind of just lost all credibility just from knowing that. And yeah, I was wrong. So, you know, that's awesome that it went up, you know, over 100%. And my fellow big gauchos made a lot of money <laughs> Dave you gonna uh, join us next time I mean I like to do my research personally I just wasn't able to do it so I mean if I was maybe I would consider it but from take a of limited of knowledge honestly, I had I thought it was a bad idea personally take a honestly, we kinda, sometimes. well we kind of got lucky too <laughs> yeah kind of got luck in <laughs> A little bit of luck and coffee. Hey, I'm just <laughs> saying for all those p- viewers out there that are listening, I called it probably like our second or third episode of our podcast. So just saying, you know, your boy called it. We are directly responsible for all gains, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's exactly right. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. But seeing as how there's no explanation for this squeeze, I'll I'll say we, the yeah, luck was a factor to it. But you know, if you're out there and you got some money on the sidelines, these stocks are going for bargain basement prices, especially Hertz too. That's crazy. Oh my, Hertz. Mm-hmm. What were they at before uh, the big old rise? Like 83 cents. <laughs> what are they trading at now, Austin? Let them know. Let the viewers know. Man, today when I last checked it, it was around, it was around three, four dollars. Yeah, they closed at 257 today. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if you invested at eighty cents, you've made near three times uh, what you put in. So you know, triple your gains in less than honestly two days. Yeah, because they peaked today around nine thirty a.m. at three forty nine, and as recently as Thursday, you could get it for eighty cents. So 
Hey, if you're still holding on to it, I would definitely sell on Monday though. That company is so screwed. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm gonna take a leap of faith and I'm gonna put like a couple hundred bucks in each of them and just hold for the long run, you know? If it I hurts. if I lose it, I lose it. But like I'm willing to take the risk. Hey, it would be funny if Avis budget bought out Hertz. I don't think it would happen because of antitrust and like monopoly laws, but it'd be so <laughs> funny. I mean, it's Avis so budget funny. has been getting major gains regardless because they filed for bankruptcy. So they're the only major <laughs> major company out there right now. So I'm I'm okay with this, but I hope they go down a couple bucks so I can rebuy. I do too. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe if Hertz goes back down again, I'll consider it. Hell yeah. It's like Avis just owns every single car rental company that exists. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm down for it. I mean, (laughs) if Hertz liquefies, that's what's going to happen. So we'll see if um, if Congress steps in to do an antitrust law. Probably not. They have so much on their plate right now. I know, bro. They're probably they're they're just trying to figure out how to get rid of COVID, and then they're like, "Well, now we have to break up the." rental right. car monopoly <laughs> mm-hmm. so funny and then even even the big like blue chip stocks are going up too which is weird like you you think it was just these little companies that are about to go bankrupt because that seems to be the trend these days yeah i mean yeah you're right some of these blue stocks um blue chip stocks are at all-time highs like um we're looking at apple microsoft amazon Nike, these companies have rallied and they are doing extremely well and they are higher than what they were prior to the COVID crash. Yeah, that's totally insane. I can't, I can't believe they're even going that high anymore because what do they have left to innovate? Sure. I mean, you can get a new iPhone in September, but with 45 million people out of work, I can't say it's selling very well, you know? No, yeah, that makes sense. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I think a lot of the stock market gains has to do with the stimulus um, that was given out because if people didn't readily need the cash, you know, if they didn't need to pay off you know, rent or mortgage or, buy food then most people probably just put it in the market and what that did was to increase the demand of stocks um so people were just buying stocks and would essentially you know cause the price to go up so i think that has to do a lot with why the market is rebounding so high so much as it has i think that's definitely a possibility Mm-hmm. So in other news, um, you know, all three of us are invested in U.S. oil and they're primarily investing in oil futures. But news has come out that they have been cut off from purchasing new futures by the company RBC Capital Markets. Um, so that's kind of concerning for all three of us. That's Canadian, right? Um, good question. <laughs> <laughs> I can check that out for you. Yeah, but R- in, in the meantime... Um, yeah, Royal Bank know, of Canada. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's concerning because all they invest in is oil features and if they're cut off then what's gonna happen to the fund are they just gonna sit on their equity or are they going to find some new company to invest in to invest in futures in or are they gonna switch and do something totally different or are they gonna close the fund what's gonna happen i feel like they might call it You get that? Yeah. Yeah, I sold all my US stuff today, so I'm uh, I'm free. <laughs> I know I was I was really considering it just to just to kind of cut my losses and do all that, but you know, I'm I'm wondering when Dave's saying that even though they're severing ties with 
Royal Bank of Canada if that only applies to their Canadian crude futures or if it's all of them, if they buy all of their futures through Royal Bank. That'd be a, that'd be a question to, that I want to research. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it has to, I think it's all of them, honestly. Yeah, it's all collusion. It's all a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to get out, but I'm pretty, um, pretty stingy and I don't want to lose, you know, that 1% that I have left to gain back. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's FOMO. I'm, I'm so, I'm so eager to try to make it up to, I have like, I have like 15 or not even, I have like 10% left until I break even. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, you know, in hindsight, if I were to have just taken my losses and then invested in something else, I probably would have made money overall. That's what I'm saying. I would have made it back if I put it in Avis budget or something like that back in the day. But, you know, like like Big T was saying, but, you know, that's 2020 and you, you can't really have a crystal ball on the market or anything. So, you know, all, all, I'm, all I'm trying to do is break even and, you know, it's going to be really bad news if Royal Bank of Canada is canceling their futures. So that means the stock should go through the roof. <laughs> that's how life works now, I guess. Uh, I mean, hopefully that True. continues because I, I want to get out. I, I think that was a really big mistake personally. And, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm hoping to get out very soon. I don't think more- it's a really good investment. I know. The more I look at it, the more I realize I was com- I'm completely in a hole with it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I, I'm gonna see how much I'm truly losing if I sell. I, I know it's not that much. It's maybe at most five percent of my um, initial investment that I'll lose. But I just want to calculate it real fast, just because. Yeah, you should be fine. I mean, honestly, it's pretty close to break even for us too. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I, I think I'll probably just do it because I have no faith in that ETF. I think it's it's dog poo poo. Yep, I would agree. Okay. Now that we're finding out about all this, but I know how you can make some of your money back, Dave. How's that? Uh, it's a little thing we like to call biggest winners, the biggest losers, and of course the sleepers. All right, let's hit that soundtrack. Wow, okay, I know who put up this big winner. We got Hertz up 92%. I'm assuming Tyler did that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I mean, uh, that's, that's pretty crazy, especially considering they filed for bankruptcy not even a week ago, and they are yeah. um, they're doing very well. After they filed for bankruptcy, they have decided, or I guess investors have decided to um, make their stock go up insane amounts. Bro, that's what I'm telling you. USO is going to do the same thing. They'll follow shortly behind. No. I, I, I would be at a loss of words. That would, that would be, I don't even know. It, it'd be unspeakable. It's $100 on Monday. <laughs> that would be very awesome. I would be very happy. I would too, but yeah, we can dream as much as we want, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oasis Petroleum too. It's kind of up the same alley, but you know they're actually a reputable company. One sixty five point nine six percent gains in one day. Holy moly! That might be a record for the show. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, that is a very big number. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is, Dave. It so. looks like it looks like they're only trading for a dollar twenty six. They started mm-hmm. out at uh, eighty one cents today. Gains is gains. True, gains is gains. gains. So Tyler and I are going to buy that on Monday just because we realized it's a <laughs> it's a one dollar stock. I mean, I mean, is it is it going to get delisted from Nasdaq? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Will it make us a lot of money? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Stocks never go down, except for the biggest losers. Dun 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 dun. Mm. Dropbox Incorporated, which we all 
which we all know and love, is down 21.98%. Big Aww. file sharing website. I'm surprised because everyone's working from home and no one can collaborate in the office anymore, but they're down. Yeah, I mean, personally, I use Dropbox a lot for my research and lab, even before coronavirus. Um, we would always back up our files um, through Dropbox. And, you know, for my work, we would upload, of course, Excel files, which aren't really that big, but we would analyze images. And these were um, TIFF images. So they were pretty bulky. They were Those are about, heavy. Yeah, they were probably about 10 megabytes per picture. And, you know, we had thousands. You could tell it was, it was gigabytes on gigabytes of data that we had to back up. Dang, so, dude. Yeah, we use Dropbox in my research lab, and um, my boss is the one who pays for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I use it for I use it for real estate all the time. Actually, it's just an easy way to upload pictures, and you don't have to keep you know individually selecting all the pictures. You can just share a link with them, and it's really easy. So, man, shout out Dropbox. I might have to jump in on that because I actually believe in the product. Yeah, I like it a lot, and um. I know a lot of, at least academia, uses it quite extensively. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And they still got a lot of room to grow. And then the second one is a five er international. Yes, sir. The best freelancing website on the internet. Basically, the name comes from people put up tasks that they'll do and it starts at $5. That's how they started out their company. But it can range to all kinds of levels. I'm assuming maybe it's just people flooding the market that's getting the stock to go down because freelancing services are cheap now. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I've never really heard of that, but it seems oh, kind of like... Um... They'll do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> so like, interesting, like, you know, mow the lawn, clean the pool. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll make intros for podcasts. Oh, wow. We hey. that. Maybe we should hire yeah. someone from there. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't we don't need my intro anymore. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't like that. It's it's getting a little stale. It's it's time for season two. It's tacky, man. <laughs> yeah, we gotta figure out when season two is coming up. We'll let you guys know soon. Next year. Next year. <laughs> Ooh. And then we got some really interesting sleeper stocks. Number one. Whew. these are all my favorite restaurants yum brands incorporated they got pizza hut kfc taco bell habit burger and wing street all under one roof mm. my favorite fast food joint maybe taco bell i love taco bell i was gonna say i love the habit burger also that's it's it might be better than in and out it's it's really close it's so good no way yeah bro Go go and get a Santa Barbara char burger. Oh my goodness, they do they do the burger, but it's a double on a sourdough, and they toast it wow. perfectly. That's so good. Oh my goodness. Hey, anyway, and then now it goes public. I'm buying them. Man, that would be the day, right? <laughs> I know. I've said I've been saying that for a long time, but I don't think that's gonna happen personally. <laughs> yeah, they're they're very well known for being a private company and none of their restaurants are franchised either. They're all corporate owned, just a fun fact. Yeah. But they're very KFC strict. too. I love KFC. I think it is delicious. They're closing all over the place though. It's it it kind of sucks because I I'm with Dave. I I do like it every once in a while. Yeah, if I get chicken or if I get French chicken, comparing Popeyes to KFC. KFC wins a hundred thousand percent, but if I'm going for a chicken sandwich, I'm going to Popeyes. Yes, sir. They're getting a lot of rebranding combining with Taco Bell too, the KFC Taco Bell combos, and you'll see a lot of these combined too, like Pizza Hut have Wing Street in them and stuff mm -hmm. like that too. Oh yeah, Wing Street. Oh man, that's that's good stuff. <laughs> there was a there was a Taco Bell and a Habit Burger. <laughs> It's so gross. <laughs> Sounds a little mm. gross, but yeah, it does. Second, and we second sleeper stock is yeah. Jet ETF. Yes, sir. It's Jets, very popular one. 
especially now that airplanes are going up, such as Boeing, which we had on here last episode. Yeah, I, I've personally invested into jets and I have made, I think, around, I don't know exactly, but I, I think it's around 50 to 60%. So it's yeah. nice. Yeah, I might do it. It's interesting because a lot of the jets are parked. So the stock's <laughs> still going up, you know, nothing makes sense, but I'm not, I'm not going to question it if it makes money, you know? Yeah, that's some jets. That, that's the end goal it's just just to make money and you don't question it if it goes up you know green is green precisely just like slack technologies which is also a sleeper as more people are going back to work and needing a way to communicate and a lot of big companies and newer more hip companies they had slack already just to communicate it's it's more efficient especially than trying to have a huge group chat and better management so hmm. them hipsters i know man i know <laughs> very very good for these young folk <laughs> true true hey but also real quick before we keep going anchor's not slacking either right now they're doing promotions for a limited time <laughs> i think we got to hear what they have to say Oh, I always love hearing what Anchor has to say. Yes, sir. Hit that ad right now. All right, boys. I was a winner today. You know, even though I was off by 1,100 points, as we discussed earlier. Still, t- <laughs> still took that dub in the end. So anything to knock Canal off, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I'm if you're- I'm coming up. I'm, I If I would have guessed today... And I would have won. I would have dethroned him. Or I would have tied him. You just might have. You just might have. So uh, the comeback, boys. Well. It's a comeback. Let me see. All right. We got 800 points in a day. 27 even. Just because I'm, I'm, I don't care anymore. <laughs> mm, okay. So. I think. One day. The. Dow has rallied for a week straight, and I don't see any end in sight. You know, I think it's very plausible that by August we're looking at a forty thousand Dow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't so think gonna, Jay Powell's ever going to send the printer off? I don't think so. I think it's just going to keep going up and up and up, and I think it's going to be awesome. Okay. So what do you think? So I'm going to say 29,000. In one day? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was like, bro. I'm going to say... Believe in you, but come on. It's going to be conservative. And I'm going to say 27,000 comma 300. Okay. All right. Big T? I'm I'm going... uh, a dip after 800 points going up. I think it's time for it to go down. Uh, 26. <laughs> four hundo. Wow. Okay. So, what is that like a 600 point dip? 26. Yes, 700. Yeah. 700 point dip. Holy crap. <laughs> Dang. That would be. Um, Revolutionary, to say the least. Very depressing to me. I would not be happy with that. No, no. I think we, I think we'd all be depressed, but it's, it's necessary and inevitable. It's probably inevitable, but um, I'm just gonna hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, you're <laughs> just, you're just gonna have to stick around and find out on Tuesday what we did. But for tonight, that's all we got. Thanks for listening, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the show. Leave us a voice message on anchor.fm slash gauchos or biggauchos.com. If you want to send in an investing tip, we might play it on the show. Tyler, disclaimer, please. All right, guys, quick disclaimer. Uh, we are not responsible for any losses because we are not licensed brokers. Um, we are directly responsible for any gains because we want you guys to make money. Please like and subscribe and check us out on all our platforms. Uh, David, what's our uh, Instagram? Let us know. The Instagram is at Big Gauchos.
If you can't spell big gauchos, please just please I'm begging you, just look at the title. We already spelled it for you. <laughs> <laughs> True, but if you need a second reminder, it is B I G G A U C H O S. Yes, sir. On that note, good night from us in Arizona, and we hope you made money today. <laughs>